was wow. really in charge. That and had some malice to it. The first championship match of the Vicky Guerrero era. There's the Intercontinental Champion, Curtis Axel, set to defend his title. I love him when he said, I hate each and every one of you. And she managed. <laughs> it's a new era. the momentum swings Jericho's way after the week he had last week against Curtis Axel. He certainly does. He became the first person to defeat Curtis Axel and actually pin him. So Jericho versus Axel for the Intercontinental title. A pinfall victory, a count-out victory last week over Axel. Tonight he needs a pinfall victory or a submission victory to take the championship. You better believe Paul Heyman has his boy Curtis Axel ready. Guarantee you they've studied that tape all weekend. Curtis Axel's got a game plan. Chris Jericho coming off an incredible matchup this past Monday against the returning Rob Van Dam. RVD will be in action a bit later on tonight here on SmackDown. Curtis Axel, 6'3", 227 pounds. He won the Intercontinental Championship with a payback pay-per-view and a triple threat win over Wade Barrett in the Miz. And there's Jericho with a drop kick. That Intercontinental Championship on Father's Day. His father won the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time, Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. The first father-son duo to hold that IC title. You saw the look on Heyman's face a bit ago and actually came over the top rope. But what I'm going to find interesting in, in all this is how... Uh, and look at Jericho! Right into Curtis Axel again. He's got to get Axel back into the ring in order to win the Intercontinental title. be interested to see how Heyman's relationship with his client Axel plays out since Heyman's right in the thick of things with Punk and Lesnar. Jericho, top rope, cross, oh, and he caught him with an elbow. Thought he was going for the cross body, nonetheless effective. Hook of the leg here for the title and a kick at it too. And that incredible temper tantrum by AJ that we saw. For her and uh, Dolph are no longer an item. I'm not sure she's too happy about it. She's certainly not over it. Vicky's got a great show. Her first show here is General Manager of SmackDown. Yeah, because still to come tonight, Alberto Del Rio, the world champion versus Randy Orton. The Money the Bank ladder match winner as Jericho kicks out. And as I mentioned before, the return of Rob Van Dam. First time in eight years here on SmackDown for RVD. And I do want to go back to the question one more time though about Heyman John. The fact is you see him watching it down here, but can he focus on Axel and the needs of Axel when he's really wrapped up in this whole Lesnar pump thing? Absolutely. You look at the super agents out there, which is exactly what Paul Heyman is. Scott Boras, he has more than just a rod. He has a whole handful, a whole client list, a whole, whole stable full of stars. Paul Heyman has two. He can certainly handle that. Look at Jericho! The Northern Lights is up here and a kick on it too. Would not bode well for Mr. Heyman's competence if his client Axel were to lose the gold tonight. Oh man, clubbing blow to the back of the head. Axel cover. Jericho fights through it. 
Many people say that Axel is, uh, well, he fits the mold of the perfect Heyman guy. He's the total oh. one. Heyman could have chose anybody he wanted. Anybody in their right mind would go with Paul Heyman. Here's Jericho, cross body, lateral press, hook of the leg, and a kick out. Well, let's see, Mike. Well, 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 His well, last well, four clients have all been world champions. That's a pretty impressive tracker. You're telling me that some young man with all types of talent would break her and Axel counter. Wouldn't go with Paul Heyman? Of course they would. It's a dream come true. Rolling across the ring, hook of the leg, and Chris Jericho kicks out. Hey, anybody that was watching would see him punt to the Paul Heyman to see him punt might beg to differ. Curtis no. Axel looks to keep it up as we return to Friday Night Smackdown. For the Intercontinental Championship, it's your champion Axel in control of your challenger, Chris Jericho, here on Friday Night Smackdown. Jericho seemed to tweak his knee during the commercial break. Jericho, who owns two victories over Axel last week, won a whole lot of Smackdown but shoulder first to the steel post. He can get a victory today by pinfall or submission. He becomes a 10-time Intercontinental Champion. He's got a pretty good mask on tonight. Slammed by Axel. You have to, what do you mean mask? We have to assume that he's, it's bothering him what CM Punk said to him this past Monday, saying that, quote, I swear on your kids, I'm going to get you and all your associates. I'm going to burn everything down around you. And there's Axel missing as Jericho rolls out of the way. If you had Brock Lesnar in your hip pocket, would you be nervous? Lesnar will not always be around. And here's Jericho with a shoulder tackle. Now Jericho with it, Segari back in the head. Is it enough? To win the Intercontinental Championship, maybe right here, and at two, it's Axel. And Heyman realized how Come close on, that was. Baby! This is the biggest threat that Curtis Axel has to that championship and will have for quite some time. Oh. Set on the map with nine Intercontinental Championship range. You gotta have to say Chris Jericho is one of, if not the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. But he pulled on, Axel countered. He's going to have him to put Jericho away in a kick out of two. Well, Heyman should know all about the guts of Chris Jericho. WWE fans here, uh, the electric all night in Providence, trying to will Jericho on. And Chris Jericho knows all about Paul Heyman. Mistake made. The flying soft. Is it enough? Can Jericho capitalize? Can right. Jericho get his wits about him? Crawls to the cover. Is it enough? The championship not there. Slow cover man calls Chris Jericho. He bounced off of Curtis Axel. Instead of landing on him and staying, he bounced off of him. Could have cost him the Intercontinental Championship right there. Look at desperation almost on the face of Heyman. A championship around Axel's waist means as much to Heyman as it does the young man in the ring. You certainly seem to read Paul Heyman's mind a lot. I know Paul well. I've known him for years. Jericho tossed over the top, lands on the eight. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, again, Paul Heyman. You heard Paul Heyman alerting Axel to what was going on. Now goes for the perfect flex. Jericho counters it. And Jericho. Heyman. And Heyman off the distraction. Axel with a roll up. 
Axel. Curtis Axel, the champion. Chris Jericho still on the attack. Chris Jericho knows you can't win it out here, though. Chris knows that very well. Oh, Jericho's got to be a bit frustrated over the fact that that he thought he had Axel tapped out, but Axel made it to the bottom rope. Paul Heyman, yeah, but again, the distraction, a distraction by Heyman, allowed Curtis Axel to take over. He's got it. Heyman is paid dividends. He's got it again. He's held Axel to pay the championship. That could be the greatest manager of all time, Paul Heyman. To John's point, that Paul Heyman, genius, maybe one of the greatest managers ever, because of moves like that, he's your champion.